oh sure, it was supposed to be so easy. I just plug my four terabyte hard drive into this USB port on my router, but my ISP has their own firmware version on there that doesn't seem to support the functionality, even though the original hardware does. I've got a server 2008 server running in the closet with two terabytes of MP3s and MP4s, and I want to preserve that in a simpler fashion. I've got this four terabyte Western digital USB drive, and I want to go ahead and install Open Media Vault on my Raspberry Pi 3B. So let's go. Okay, so you're going to want to download the PDF of the installation guide from the GitHub site. Look for the link down below. You're going to want a good SD card. We're going to need Belina Etcher and Putty installed. And we're going to download the Buster Light edition of Raspbian. This doesn't include the GUI or any of that stuff, so it's a very lightweight installation. Okay, so I've got my Raspbian Buster image here. Let's launch Belina Etcher. I like to look at the SD card in Disk Manager to make sure there aren't any leftover Linux partitions. And we can see there's nothing here on that SD card. Just one big open volume there. So now we can flash Buster onto this card. So this is going to take several minutes. It's, first it writes it out and then it validates it. And we're going to crop a lot of this out. The great thing about the Bellina Etcher is you don't need to unzip the image file or anything like that. It can handle the zip just fine. The PDF install guide goes to great lengths to describe verifying the download against the MD5 hash to make sure you didn't get a corrupt file. It also goes to great lengths of describing how to check your SD card to make sure that it is 100% ready for the installation of OMV5. I kind of skipped all those steps, but I guess if you were to encounter any sort of problems with the installation, you could go back and follow these troubleshooting steps. Also note that anything before Raspberry Pi 2B is not supported. So they're really looking for Raspberry Pi 2B and up. Okay, so our image is flashed onto that SD card. So before we go any further, we have to enable SSH in Raspbian Buster. And we do that by writing a blank text file in the root named SSH without any extension. So you make a new text file, type the name SSH, and delete the TXT extension. So the file name is just SSH. So now we can put this Raspbian Buster flashed SSD card into our Raspberry Pi 3B hook the Raspberry Pi 3B up via an Ethernet cable to the router, and continue with the installation of OMV. So we've booted up our Raspberry Pi with the Raspbian Buster SD card and hooked directly to the router with an Ethernet cable. And we can see here on the router's DHCP client list that it's pulled an IP address. Now we're going to use PuTTY to SSH to that IP address. Now, the first time you do this, you're going to want to set your password. Unfortunately, I already did that in advance, so we won't see that message come by here, but I will highlight it here in the notes. Yeah, the default password is raspberry, and the root user is pi. And after your first login, you can reset the password. Now, our next objective is to run these three commands and then reboot. Each of these commands could take several minutes, so I've cropped out an awful lot. But you can see me run the first command, the second command. The third command catches me off guard because it runs instantly and takes you back to the prompt. And now I do the sudo reboot. And we're ready for the next step. So after three minutes or so, we can log back in with PuTTY and run this single line command to install OMV. And this also takes several minutes, so I've cropped that out again, but here I'm getting into PuTTY, signing in. We paste that command in here. And we'll watch it run a little bit. 
They also say here to make sure you click away from the terminal session because you might disrupt the script running. And it reboots automatically after this. So we're ready to log into the Open Media Vault GUI for the first time. So I'm going to go to that IP address in my browser here. And you sign in as admin open media vault. And we see it starting up here. So let's take a look. There's the dashboard. And then look at all of these features that are available in Open Media Vault to configure. So stay tuned for part two, where we go through finishing up, getting started with Open Media Vault. And we're going to pick up with initial configuration, install a disk, create some shares, and add some users. All right, thank you very much. So make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.